presence of your word for the blessings of your spirit we thank you for your favor upon our lives come on bless his name thank you for your mercy for your wisdom for sparing our lives by your grace we say thank you Lord we bless you we bless you I choose to give you thanks go ahead and express it unto God bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits who forgiveth our sins who healeth our diseases Lord we thank you hallelujah hallelujah it's a very important kingdom attitude to always give thanks sometimes we get too familiar with the things that God is doing in our lives but let me tell you something every time you fail to see the faithfulness of God in your life all he needs to do can you help me sound please all he needs to do is to step out just step out for one moment and I know that I am nothing without him I don't need a preacher it's a revelation I know that he's Steve puts it in no better way than his son. You are my oxygen. You are my daily bread. You are the air that I breathe. Very powerful song. You are my oxygen. You are my daily bread. You are the air that I breathe. There's a part of the song that I love so much. Says, and I, I am desperate for you. And I, I am lost without you. And I. the song one more time with life and understanding i ready now you're my oxygen come on you are my oxygen you are the air that i breathe don't just get excited think about the revelation behind the song you are my oxygen you are my daily I'm lost without you. I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. Just tell him, Lord, you are truly everything to me. You are truly everything to me. I want you to become part of your life. Always give God thanks. Thanks. Become part of the fabric of your life. Let it become part of the fabric of your life. Always give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. 
the miraculous power of God flows on the wings of thanksgiving we're saying thank you for our miracle services for our services for your faithfulness you have kept us we're celebrating graduates in our midst celebrating your blessings of life we thank you for equipping us with your word Lord I thank you and say I live by the principles of the world take this thing serious take it very serious I will not tell you to do things that God didn't direct me I like you to say I live by the word my life is founded upon the word I reject every doctrine and every teaching that does not line up with the principles of the word hallelujah put it down I was sharing with I think there was a time we we're having a discussion please sit down we we're having a discussion at home and I was saying something uh, I think we we're talking about um, certain prophets around and their accuracy and all of these things I think I was sharing, we we're just sharing at home, and I was saying, my concern is not your degree of accuracy. My concern is not how powerful you are. Hallelujah. My concern is how much of the word of God you live by. I've shared it here many times, and I'll say it again. That someone walks at you and says, Your name is wrote to me. You served in Zamfara State. People just knew that as Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not teaching you to be critical. I'm teaching you to be matured so that you can discern spirits. And not make yourself gullible to just anything. Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. In other words, every manifestation of the spirit in the kingdom should directly glorify Jesus Christ. hallelujah Lord I pray that your word will prevail over our minds I pray that your word will truly 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 change us you are equipping us and bringing us back to the foundations of truth and the word you're teaching us the principles that the ancient knew I pray in the name of Jesus that even as we transit through our lives you help us to make the word of God the standard for our lives that we master your principles so much that the new age teachings and the doctrines of devils and demons will not kick us out of the things of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah I once studied a I was just going through several things online and I saw a teaching that gave the man who was teaching and I know it was a scripture he took and he was teaching it very falsely and he was making certain decrees that believers have the right to administer salvation to others and I understand because the Bible says whoever sins you forgive is forgiven and all kinds of things and what the person was teaching was saying that God doesn't forgive anybody since he doesn't do anything it is left for the believers to choose whether people will be saved or not how do you like that and it had scriptural backings and many of us read and say really and so it gives room for perversion and living immoral lives and everything and people say I have realized that it's within my power to secure my salvation your majesty I can't 
but bow and I lay my all before you now in royal robes that I don't deserve I leave to serve your majesty how many of you are truly seeing growth in your spiritual life growth and maturity let me see your hands honestly that you're coming to a point where you know that when god sends you out of this system you can represent him that in the next 10 years when we hear about you we will hear that you're still living and walking around if that is not happening to you we are failing are you listening to me whether crowds come until people sit on the zinc if there is no transformation then we are failing and God has helped us to define success properly that success is not just about crowds coming or people falling and all of these things that is about the quality of transformation that if at any time God picks this lady and sends her into the system she will represent the kingdom with such power and grace if that happens we are truly successful are you listening to me if all that happens is that we celebrate numerical strength and increase and excellence and all of these things and there is no notable transformation that people are breaking free from the shackles of sin and Satan and coming to a point where the word of God becomes the priority where people are experiencing the blessings the goodness the life the prosperity of the kingdom where people are being prepared and equipped to understand who they are and the principles of the kingdom if that is not happening then we are failing are you listening to me that's why we took our time to thank God for his faithfulness. Our time is fast spent. Very quickly, I'll be sharing tonight on a very powerful kingdom principle. The creative power of the spoken word. The creative power of the spoken word. Light is shining in the darkness Jesus he is Lord he is risen from the dead he is Lord truly light is shining in every darkness Jesus, you are Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God is not just for many believers. We know the word of God to be an instrument. The Bible calls it the sword of the spirit. An instrument against Satan. You know, when Jesus came to tempt Satan, he said, it is written it is written so many of us have come to know the word as an instrument against satan and so on and so forth but i need you to understand that the word of god is not just an instrument for victory against satan hallelujah that the word of god is god's agency for creation the word of god is god's tool for framing realities in this realm it's his principle Hebrews chapter 11, very quickly. Hebrews chapter 11. Thank you, Jesus. Through faith, we understand that the walls, the systems, were framed by what the word of god follow me 
through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. It says so that the things which are seen were not made of things that do appear. In other words, our material realm came into being as a result of a spiritual technology from the supernatural world. Hallelujah. And our understanding of that principle will equip us to create and to frame our world. There are so many people who are waiting for God to create their future for them. When you go to God in his sovereignty, he grants you grace and revelation. How many of you have prayed about a thing and the more you pray, the more God sends you scriptures. You want to see visions and all you see is scriptures. And at the end of the prayer, you feel very bad. You know why? Because the light that comes in that word will help you and will equip you to be victorious and so the word of god is his creative agency hebrews uh, paul gives us a uh, the dynamics of the creation of the universe it says through faith we understand that the walls were what framed framed they had their physical structure by an activity that involved the word of god in other words the smallest unit of every material is not atoms it's not electrons neutrons and protons is the word of god hallelujah and something very interesting i watched a documentary some years ago and some scientists were trying to rewind the earth they were trying to the earth to rewind it to two minutes or something so that they will see the formation and they succeeded i can't remember the name of the documentary very powerful documentary and they were even able to rewind the earth according to them to some seconds before whatever i don't know how they did it don't ask me but they said the only thing that the machines and all of this could interpret was heat and light that was all no atoms no electrons no nothing so forget about that big bang nonsense write it for your exams and pass and go but i'm telling you if you need to be victorious in this life you need to realize that mankind and creation were not a product of two big bangs that came no the direct definite operation of the word of god and that's what i want to teach us tonight hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that through faith we understand that the walls were framed that means your life will only be framed by the word of god are you listening to me the word of god is the creative tool of the father he uses his word to frame things give them frames and realities Genesis chapter 1, the Bible makes us to understand that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. And it says, now the earth was dark, void, formless, and the spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. Verse 3. It says, and God said. The Hebrew rendition is, God said, light be. He used the creative power of the word to call the things that were not as though they were. And he framed the recreated earth through the word of God. Hallelujah. There are so many believers who are just waiting for our jobs to recreate our lives. Or our certificates to recreate our lives. I need you to understand that your mouth is not just an instrument of eating food. That every time you take the word of God and put it in your mouth and you release it it's a technology in the realm of the spirit hallelujah it brings forth creative power everything you see in this auditorium is a product of god's creative power e and i today there was a day it was only in the bowels of the spirit the technology of the spirit brought it into existence and gave it frame 
are you listening to me this mic came as a product of the creative power of god's word your being here tonight was framed together by the creative power of god's word I, do you believe what i'm teaching you because i need us to step out of this place and realize that as believers it is within our power to create our future and not to sit down and allow things to try to create it there are many of us that live our lives by chance it's one song they used to sing and say whatever will be will be no 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 sir it doesn't work for believers it can work in your cartoon it doesn't work for your life and destiny so we need to come to a point where we realize that there is a provision there is a principle that creates realities the word of god hallelujah so. when jesus walked upon the earth the bible made us understand that he healed them with his word created all kinds of things called things that were not isn't it interesting hear me friends that when god calls you he doesn't give you any physical thing nothing hallelujah when god called abraham there's no record that animals fell from heaven three or four and he said all right now go ahead and just move isn't it interesting that the first seed god gives you in your life is not money or all of this is, is his word and he believes that that word is able to translate ah god i read something about jacob that scared me i was i've been studying what prosperity principle jacob used that made the animals to reproduce themselves with dark colors by looking at a dark object ah. isaac didn't give them anything just left a blessing spoke something that created a man's future and a man's destiny hallelujah there is nothing in this life that the word of god cannot give me hear me whatever the word cannot give you you can't get it if you ever get it it's a mirage run away from it any success that did not come by the word is only a mirage soon you will cry any lifting any promotion any increase that is not a byproduct of the word will not last and so as believers god gives us his word so that we are able to frame our future and frame our lives hallelujah for many believers we just stop at reading the word by his stripes i am healed he was made poor so that i'll become rich and all of that and we just read it and stop there i want you to know that there is more to the activity of the word of god than just reading it are you listening to me when you study the word of god and it stays in your spirit you take the word of god and put it upon the lips of faith and every time you begin to speak god's word can i tell you something until the word of god is spoken it cannot release the power and the potency that you need that's why many people have their bibles in their homes and they are still suffering as if jesus christ didn't die because we need to realize that is more than just looking at your bible that you must put the word of god first in your heart and then the word of god must be released you don't just speak the word to have faith it's god's principle of creation are you listening to me very very important the more you realize friends that the word of god is an instrument of creation to frame your reality the bible said through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god so i take the word of god and begin to frame my health destiny are you listening to me i pick up god's word and i begin to make decrees under his anointing i say in the name of the lord jesus christ according to god's word i create
create a life of health see i've said it here that the word of god does not just reveal your future it can create one are you listening to me that means when you look at a life that is not consistent with god's word the word of god can change it powerful hallelujah that you sit down and begin to frame your life with god's word you begin to speak and declare and say in the name of the lord jesus christ i will never beg i will never sit running from hand to mouth it doesn't matter what my background is i understand that in the realm of the spirit the spoken word has creative ability the only thing that is permitted to go to your future before you is the words you send and boy if you send sufficient words to your future you will find a beautiful future there are so many people who step into their future and sit and say ah god is not fair what you are seeing today by the grace of god is the framework of years of speaking our tomorrow will reveal what we are speaking today are you listening to me it's a very simple but powerful teaching because there are so many believers that cry and lament over situations waiting for god to do something about it when god is telling you i have equipped you with the tools and the understanding to frame your reality you share a report that is not supposed to be there are too many believers that give up and give in too quickly because we do not realize that within the believer given by god through the instrumentality of his word is the ability to change our situations can i tell you something there are very few people who you see and admire today who had the best situations in their lives by default people created it are you listening to me if you look at someone's wealth and admire it if he got it by the word of god it was created by the principle of god you speak that faith and then on this earth realm god begins to transfer it by the wisdom he gives you hallelujah many of us have allowed satan to take advantage of our lives and we have watched our lives not make any progress many of us have sat back to watch things go wrong in our families yet every time we just look and we are just passive about it truth we are studying god's word but we do not realize that when the word of god is not spoken it will only reside in your spirit and stay there but it will not change your life until it is brought forth and declared he said declare ye that ye might be justified where the word of a king is there is power can i tell you something according to jewish culture all right the proof that you are a king is that you can just speak and your word is done have you realized that in this earth realm the more you become an ogre the proof that you are an ogre is that you just speak and things happen hallelujah if i say um casey come and he gets up and comes what happens his ability to obey my word is proof that i'm not a non-entity are you understanding me and so you need to realize that the proof of your dominion the true proof of your dominion in the kingdom is that you speak things and they happen if things are not created by the power of your word you are not reigning and there are too many people struggling but the bible says there remained a rest for god's people that you come to a point where you frame your world with the creative power of god hallelujah many of us came here and saying lord will you meet my need lord will you do this and this and god is saying when will you get up and take responsibility and begin to put word in your lips stand as a king that you are are you listening to me arise there are many people who have been sitting you've been buffeted by satan again and again because we are unwilling to stand like kings that we are say after me i am royalty that within you is the ability to create the kind of future you want if you get to the top and don't find me there where you are is not the top 
Hallelujah. You know why? Because I will not shut my mouth over my destiny. You see, in the earth realm, if you keep quiet, you are con the Bible says even a fool when he is silent is considered wise. So people just say, I don't want to look for trouble. There are many people who are afraid of making their faith declarations about their future. So when you get up and begin to speak and say in the name of Jesus, I will not beg for bread. And your roommate say, I thought you just begged me for one indomie. So what? So what? Are you listening to me? Through faith, we understand that the walls were framed. Framed. For you to ever speak, you must know the kind of life you want. And for you to know the kind of life you want, you have to go back to the word of God. The word of God gives you a picture of the kind of life God has for you. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the things that I think, the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Hallelujah. There are many people can I tell you something? I am convinced that one of the reasons why the Holy Spirit came back to resurrect Jesus is because he spoke it. How many of you know that before he died, he said it? He said, I will die, but after three days, I will rise. He wasn't just informing them. He was releasing a word so that when the mortal body was dead, on the third day, that word was activated. I've spoken things about my life and I'm not careful. Let me tell you something. The man who brings you to a point of silence has destroyed your life. Are you learning something this night? All oh, that you need to speak. Many of us, all we speak is, I don't have this. I don't have that. My life is not this. We are the, when will you start speaking? Stop speaking what you are seeing. Begin to create. You are co-creators with God. hallelujah for years i kept speaking i said i will never be a failure in life i will never be a failure in ministry there is nothing that my hands will ever touch that will fail I, I tell you the truth take me anywhere the result will come you know why this technology of the spirit will work hmm. and so jesus christ comes to a place and begins to heal the people with the power of his word hallelujah many times you come for meetings and you see all of these things you create a doorway from the realm of the spirit to this realm there are several believers that have several virtues of the spirit locked up in the realm of the spirit but we are too silent oh we are careful you don't want to uh you don't want to look charismatic unfortunately I hope you know that in Genesis, in Genesis chapter 3, the Bible says, and they heard the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. The Hebrew rendition is they had the talking spirit. That's what the Hebrew called God there. The spirit that talks. The talking spirit. Let me tell you something. If you make up your mind to walk with this principle I'm teaching you tonight, your success will scare you. There are many people who don't speak. I'm not just talking about a special time when you lock your door. You make it a part of your life to speak. Many of us speak, but we speak the wrong things. And so our lives begin to move in the direction of our words. The creative power of the spoken word. You never find me say certain things about myself. I cannot. It's not for me. No, sir. I shared it, I think, was it during the leaders meeting or something? Or somewhere. I said, even if I were not born again, I will never kill myself. That spirit of suicide, impossible. You know how much I believe in myself? I will never, never. The money I will use to buy rope to hang myself, I will eat food with it or do something else. You've got to speak your way to victory in this life if you sit down waiting for god you will sit down there forever you've got to speak you've got to prophesy you've got to declare ezekiel chapter 37 i trust god that will pray one of the things god was bringing my attention to 
and in this place we are raising talking spirits men and women the Jamfa has always said it that in every man is a prophetic dimension whether or not you are called to occupy the office of a prophet the ability to decree to create to establish hallelujah I my church we don't like talking start talking start talking open your mouth and decree declare tell yourself my life let me tell you something every time things look like they are not going they are not working don't sit down and say oh god when will my change come the day you start speaking many of us say what if i'm speaking and it's going worse that's the time to keep speaking more you keep quiet you've made the biggest mistake satan brings us you know what depression is let me tell you something depression is a demonic mechanism to bring you to a state of silence so that you don't speak again that's why men are the ones who are most depressed because according to our character and makeup when men have serious issues they keep quiet it's women that always talk why did it when you see a man just keep quiet the worries on that man if he puts it on you it will kill you i watched one nigerian film that one man thinks we're not going um things were not going um right and all of this as in several kinds of terrible things were happening and then they were the landlord was supposed to come and drive him out that was the final thing he just came out of his veranda and he just put his hand like this and while the people were discussing and trying to beg the landlord's boys the guy had died since they came outside and found out that this guy died on his hands so what kind of life is that the last ounce of energy that he had he'd have said lord there's got to be more either your word is true or i'm doing something wrong in any case speaking will reveal it i make up shut your door we have very few believers that understand the creative power of the word hallelujah and so we sit down and say lord lord when will you help me when will you help me many of us have been looking for all kinds of things many of our parents are there and you say ah god gave us this thing for business we have been looking for capital we are waiting for one uncle you are waiting for one uncle have you not heard that the bible says the word became flesh so the word can become flesh ah when the word becomes flesh it will dwell among you if the word can become flesh the word can become the money you are looking for the word can become the increase you are looking for the word can become anything the bible says the word that was in the realm of the spirit wore a material body it became flesh the word became flesh oh that's why every promise of god in my life must become flesh i must identify with it here and now in this realm hallelujah the power of god's word i understand that i live in a kingdom that is governed by words how come sorcerers know this and demons know this and witches are you never go to a native doctor and he is silent they are always saying things whether you understand or not is not the issue is that they are saying things the creative power of the spoken word many of us have stopped speaking about our lives because you felt well i started and i'm not seeing anything the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal let me tell you something every time god sends you he will send you with only a word many people when they are starting out in ministry they've not done anything they are looking for partners they are looking for everything <laughs> all this begging 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 sitting down to beg people there are many of us are you not tired of begging your uncles and aunties running helter skelter there are many of us who are looking for our school fees and you will not let them you've called almost everybody on your phone and you are angry why don't you make the word become flesh he said but how shall these things be that's what mary asked he said how shall these things be oh god how shall these things be that's what zechariah said when the angel brought him word he doubted and 
Gabriel was angry. He said, I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of God. And guess what? Zechariah became deaf and dumb. You know why? So that his words would not change the plan of God. And his mouth was shut until the baby was born and he used his hand to write it. He said his name is John. God said, now your mouth can open. Isn't that amazing? That's a powerful lesson we need to learn. God, had, because Zechariah was a priest, he was operating in a prophetic office. And if he made decree, he could interrupt heaven's affairs on earth. There are many people, have you not known that your speaking cooperates with the heavens to bring to birth realities? Every time God shows you, many of you get up with a beautiful dream. You saw people celebrating you in the dream. That's an opportunity to make that word become flesh. You just lie down and write it in your book and say, I know one day it will happen. And you are angry now. You saw it when you were four years. How old are you? 30. You have not seen any manifestation. hallelujah we have to come to points where we keep speaking speaking you want to go for a job interview you begin to speak i am well favored i am well favored the grace of god is at work in my life i feel very sad when i see people living as if the word of god is not working I tell you the truth with all humility what you see today is a product of the word becoming flesh the strength and the creative potency of the word on the lips of faith hallelujah who told you the blessings in the word cannot become your reality it's just that we have trained ourselves to run and beg do everything we run with everything just run. look at our parents running elter skelter i know this person i know that person some of us are already looking for admission and the, and the next thing is please who do you know that can help me let me share with you a story to the glory of god i didn't ask him for permission but i'll share it over steve's admission he shared with me let me tell you something when steve was looking for admission i didn't ask for it, but i'm sorry sir hallelujah the first list came out and he didn't get the admission and then the second list came out he also didn't get the admission hallelujah then they used to do first second and third list and then he meandered his way to living living faith church and while he sat down there he had somebody giving a testimony that he went around the senate building seven times speaking and when he did the admission the second list came and he got it and steve said ah see him he can confirm it steve went round your senate seven times carbol satire the bible says wherever the, the my feet treads upon has been given unto me that's him the word of god the word of god let me share with you something to bless your heart when my sister my sister she's in final year now to the glory of god she got admission she was giving economics and something happened and she collapsed during her work and then she didn't she didn't get the, the she didn't make maths or something then and so when it was time to give her admission things didn't work out and uh, they said well here's your admission letter but you don't have maths and so i said so where do we try now i was asking her and she said okay I can do mass communication. I've said, Lord, what is my sister going to study? I've been blessing other people. And God said, my sister was going to study mass communication. I said, that's all. I went to the HOD's office and I said, well, uh, there's a one full and man like this. He said uh, that, well, there's no admission. There's no this thing. I just left him quietly. and See, when you know this power, you stop begging people. The place of your victory is not in the open. You go and shut yourself and say are you not the creator of heavens and the earth and i began to speak and suddenly as i began to speak god gave wisdom and god told me he said go and meet prof rampia's father of blessed memory he blessed our lives before he went to be with the lord hallelujah and god just gave me the wisdom and i went and met him 
and he said you mean the man said no admission and he just got up and went and went to talk with the man i said well it's not like there's no admission it's just that they have to wait and see first and all of that and that cut the long story short my sister is in fana here today my younger sister could not enter school for a long time because she was looking for a particular paper she did have and everything she got frustrated at a point and one year i got angry i had gotten admission my sister had not gotten admission i got angry in the court many of you don't know it now the court there that night he was a, i became a talking spirit i said lord even if my sister doesn't write waek english must come out this year i put it as a time I, I got angry my spirit and the spirit of faith i was the one who drove her to a cafe and when we went to the cafe she couldn't come out because she had written exams many times just like many of you are saying master we have toiled all night nevertheless at i word hallelujah and when i checked it and i saw c in her english i came out say hey where are you yeah collect your today by god's grace she has graduated served she's a happy happy wonderful lady she's looking for a job and she told me i said truly if i'm a blessing and i'm a servant of god believe me you have a very good job many of us say man of god don't you know that is the same ability that resides within you why do you think we sing that song same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me how many how many things have come our way that would have changed by the creative power of god's word ezekiel chapter 37 very quickly and then we'll pray this was the encounter of the prophet ezekiel and the spirit of the living god a very simple lesson for us to get and then i like us to pray it's my desire friends that the least person among us here will command fearful breakthroughs and advancement in our lives that we will lead the reality of this scripture that says the least among them will be as great as david so that it will not just be a few people I look forward to times when it's time for testimony we we'll have to stop and say hold on because we will say i must give this word works that statement the word works i don't hear many people say it again that means it has not been working for many people that means you have stopped speaking ezekiel 37 thank you lord jesus for the breath of your spirit upon this word the hand of the lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the lord and set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of bones say it was full of bones so it's not only your life that is full of bones there's a valley that will be full of bones and believe me there are some people's lives that the bones are almost filling the valley you need to hear this message tonight and begin to reduce those bones and create an exceeding great army out of those bones many of us do not realize that the same things that look like disadvantages are the raw materials that will be used to create the miracle the same bones now became an exceeding great army read on and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were what they were what it was a description of the state of hopelessness see i don't care what problem you have in this place i don't care what kind of future you need to frame solomon tells us that there is nothing that is happening now on the earth that has not happened before whether it's financial situation whether it's your education whether it's whatever the bible makes us to understand that with the creative power of god's word you can frame a glorious destiny you may not be able to do anything about yesterday but you can begin to speak today to redeem your tomorrow are you listening to me 
verse 3 and he said unto me son of man can these bones live again do you see a future where these bones suddenly become human beings standing ah the prophet said bones becoming an army is hard oh god i'm a prophet i've seen visions i've seen all kinds of supernatural things but lord on this only thou knowest hallelujah it gets to points in your life where if god tells you certain situations can change they look so impossible until the miracle happens you will never believe it can happen when you hear some testimonies and close your mouth the person was not laughing when he was trusting god for the breakthrough of that testimony remember when we were going to pangshin 2006 we didn't have the it's not like now that we are reaping the products of the word of god we were going for a crusade a few people here were there then and there was no money for the transportation but we had asked the drivers to come to main gate and we told everybody go and be entering the bus where he and i meet on campus god is my witness that was where i was walking i said in the name of jesus lord you have given us this instruction your word is true and as i was speaking there and then people were running from hostels and running from wherever and coming and saying i hear you people are about to leave here's the money ask him that's how we raise the money at that point why are we too quick to doubt god and his ability to bring his promises to pass in our lives I believe God I believe God I believe God I believe God everything he has said in his word I believe and I have declared that I will see it happen in my lifetime hallelujah so I'm provoking us tonight to realize that part of the principles of the kingdom is the ability to speak God's word you have a business enough of begging people and trying to look for favor who can connect who can do this you are looking for a job enough of begging this begging 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 thing i'm telling you i've said it again and again and i'll keep saying it thank you for those of you who are graduating take your eyes away from men take your eyes away from men you will be disappointed again and again in this life in my little life i've come to see that anything that the word of god does not give is vanity and is a mirage it will only bring you pain and sorrow men can promise you heaven and hell and you'll be this not because they want to be unfaithful the best and the greatest of any man is still a man son of man can this He said only thou knowest verse 4 he said again he said unto me do what are you reading it again he said unto me prophesy he didn't say read the scroll he said what prophesy speak prophesy 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 and say what he said prophesy upon he didn't say prophesy to God. You need to know when to speak to God and when to speak to situations and circumstances. And speak to your future. Many of us are always talking to God. Both the things we should tell him and the things we should do ourselves. He says speak upon these bones. It's the same thing as God saying, Josh, you people are trusting God for a boss project. Do you believe that this can become a boss? People say, ah, bah, God is not stupid like that. Wisdom is profitable to direct. That's the kind of carnality that has come upon our minds that we are not able to believe God. If God tells me our boss will come from this till I die, you will meet me on my knees here calling this to become a boss. I will not respond foolishly. I will respond to the word. But if he has decreed it, it will come to pass hallelujah so you find the truth of god's word concerning your life in the world 
and then you keep it in your spirit and suddenly you begin to frame i will never be poor in this life never never be poor in this life you know why you know why let me tell you something i've said it again i'm saying it with all humility there is nobody here that receives salary from this ministry ask the treasurers they are there nobody i've never asked the ministry to give me one naira for my daily bread i said god i can't be tying my faith and the well-being of my family to the obedience of someone so god tells you to sow a seed into my life and you struggle with god for three months before saying yes while you are struggling i'm suffering from nothing i rather believe god's word for myself are you listening to me i rather believe god's word for myself oh i know his word works but it doesn't just work blindly i'm teaching you the dynamics of the creative power of god's word that you put god's word in your lips not just to pray and say lord i want this so i've been telling you if you don't give me you are not speaking the word you are just making noise and, and disturbing the realm of the spirit you need to be constructive 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 are you getting me you need to be constructive ah god i said this and that i'm trusting you when will the change come anyway i've made up my mind to give you glory you keep giving glory over nothing you need to calm down what the creative force listen listen i'm very serious about what I'm, I'm i'm saying the creative force in the realm of the spirit is not your words is god's word so if what you have been speaking is your word it will not create anything if your word becomes god's word then it will create something all these vain things that people command angels up and down and no angel has moved at your command the angels will only move at your command if your word is the word of god is it as in, my angels go go by which authority who are you you didn't send them the bible says they were sent to minister and so you they are they move only under the instruction of the holy spirit so when it looks like they are obeying your words it's because your word has become god's word ha no mountain will move because of your word oh mountain move you know me ah you know you it takes a revelation where you understand no demon will give way because your name is called joshua selman nothing will change in your life because you are a christian many people say god i'm a christian my life is not moving forward i will go back to drinking and smoking please yeah that's the door go go and drink and smoke and see how good you will become but you must come to a point in your life where you realize that it is within my power to frame my destiny there's a place for praying in tongues are you listening to me it's all speaking the word but there's a place for conscious and willful lifting of the word of god that's why i love the word of faith movement you put the word in your lips and make decrees things are not working every time god keeps convicting you god keeps convicting you change this situation many people say okay josh i've been speaking god's word nothing is moving don't worry keep speaking is changing when the clouds be full of rain they will empty themselves a day will come the miracle will overtake you you say god is too much god say too much for what you have ignited you have put the code it's, it, it can't stop ah i cannot i cannot stop being blessed you know why you know why i understand the principles from god's word there's no place i'll go in this life that the door will not be open it's not about me it's about a spiritual principle through faith we understand that he and i was framed by the word of god through faith we understand that koinonia came into being it was only an announcement in january today through faith it has gained structure through faith we understand that we'll be taking the nations through faith a day will come through the media through whatever a day will come that what god has told you that you will own the largest satellite that will be to africa what tbn is to the world through faith you know that it will come to pass man you say well it will happen one day I'll, I'll meet paul crouch you see the kind of unbelief i'm talking about you don't need to meet paul crouch you just need to know the word of god 
so all i need to do is god what are you saying if god says by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow he and i will have a tv station i will announce it and rejoice and say guys this is what god has said and then i will not just go back foolishly and cross my leg and say god's word he told timothy he said how did he put it um he said make a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given to you in other words is the word of let me tell you you will keep seeing things in the realm of the spirit that will never happen in your life if you keep your mouth shut there are too many people they've seen themselves with new suits they've seen new car they've seen blessings they've seen family you saw yourself flying in, in the air until now bicycle has not even crossed the gate of your house you know why because everybody's just crossing his leg and waiting god is god you think so there are people who don't sleep in the night they make it a, a praying time while you are snoring up and down they are making decrees over their life they dance and while they dance you see that and say ah look at that person just dancing foolishly that's what they are doing then one day you see them standing and they're like hey god this was my classmate what were you doing when he was speaking you are in the lecture after after a lecture the lecturer is not coming and you see someone just speaking and say lord i know that the course i'm studying may not be very lucrative but my life is upon your word i make decrees and the person is listening you're like please if you want to give to caesar what belongs to caesar you're in the class stop doing all this your holy things and then suddenly you see doors that will open as the person is graduating that's when somebody is is being promoted abroad and they'll bring the person and say we have been waiting for you i don't know you but god gave us a word to bless you i say ah some people are locking this lock there's nothing called lock brothers and sisters there is nothing forget about all those lock lock mother nature thing you create your future say after me in the name of jesus i have the power to frame my future you cannot frame a future you don't have an idea of have you ever seen any architect wanting to build a house and he tells the people just build they say where is the toilet they say just just build okay i am not complaining is he you that I will live in the house just be building and the guy says should i put it in the middle of the house eh, just keep building before hear me before you build any house you must have a plan your plan so you must have an idea what does the word picture of your future does the word of god give you the word of god gives you a picture of a blessed life let me show you some pictures that the word of god gives can we look at it very quickly all right guys let me show you something powerful psalms 128 quickly i don't know if you ever desire this kind of future but that's the kind of future i desire we're going to pray shortly psalms 128 are you there psalms 128 blessed is everyone that feareth the lord and walketh in his ways verse 2 okay we have it in the slide verse 2 he said for thou shalt eat the labor of your hands is it in your bible that's that's a painting of your picture of your future he said thou shalt eat the labor of your hand happy shall thou be and it shall be well with you verse 3 thy wife that means you'll be married so that ends the issue of disturbing god and not letting god rest oh when will my wife come the bible already said thy wife for heaven's sake are you understanding he said thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by thy side so no no fear of divorce she will be by your side that's what the bible says of thy house he said thy children so there will be children like olive plants round about your table depends on how many you want i'm not sure i want round about my table if i have three children i've contributed my best to the planet hallelujah next verse verse four Behold, thus shall be, thus shall be, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. So this is a scripture that you can speak. Let me confess, Jake's has been eating this scripture for the last how many days? Especially the part of the blessing. No, no, no. I'm not talking of the wife part. Many of you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a prophetic picture of your destiny, and you say, Lord. 
I do not yet see all things under my feet, but my mouth will bring it under my feet. And you begin to speak and say, Lord, this is your word. I believe your word and I begin to decree. Hallelujah. Are you there? One more scripture. What's the other scripture, sir? Help me. There. Job 5. Ah, yeah. Let me show you. How many of you know Job was a dangerous man? That guy, Job, you need to study the book of Job. Let me show you something in Job 5. I'm showing you a prophetic picture of your destiny. Mm. Job 5. Hallelujah. Okay. Verse, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea. Seven. In seven shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. Recession. Recession. Ah, there's recession everywhere. It's coming into Nigeria. So, the word of God says in famine he will redeem you from death. Are you, are you understanding? It says, and is war and in war from the power of the sword. And thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Let me tell you what the scourge of the tongue is. Somebody spoke against me in the village, and he said it will not be well with me. The Bible says that there is an operation of the spirit that makes you immune to the scourge of the tongue. Let men speak whatever they speak. As they are speaking, all they see is the dust from your back. Advancement unlimited. There's nothing any man can do to stop me. This young man standing may be young in himself, but there is a mighty hand that I'm sitting upon. Every one of us is sitting upon a hand that cannot fail. Hear me, cannot fail. When the word of God enters your spirit, people will think you are arrogant. It's just an expression of the truth of God's word. That's why Jesus said, Come on, I've, I've been humble. Before Abraham was, I am. He said, Don't take my being nice for granted. I believe God's word. Tonight, the meeting is supposed to provoke you. He said, Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt what? Laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth hallelujah very very solid very very powerful scriptures that god is showing let me show you something in isaiah 43 isaiah 43 i love the word of god i love the word of god I love the word of God with my life. I love the word of God. Are you there? It says, verse 18, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old he said behold i do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert so if god sends you to a wilderness there's still no problem i will make a way in the wilderness rivers streams in the desert for as long as I keep speaking the word of God over people's lives, they will keep getting results. You know why? Let me show you very quickly. It's not because my name is called Joshua Selman. Isaiah 44. Verse 24. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, him who formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord who maketh all things, who stretcheth forth the heavens alone, who spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, who frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad, who turneth wise men backward and make their 
knowledge foolishness who confirmed the word of what is it in your bible he confirms the words of his servant and the counsel of his messengers so that when i decree and say in the name of jesus you are blessed i am confident you will get a result because he confirms the words of his servant You create your future with the kind of life you want. I mean, you create the kind of life you want with the word of God. I am blessed in the city. I know it. I know it. I am blessed in the country. Everywhere I go, I am blessed. Let me tell you something. If I step into a place, even if my enemies are, the, are all the people there, they will bless me. The Bible says, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him that's why i don't have enemies i don't have enemies i will keep being promoted in this life from one dimension of grace to the other the reason is because my promotion in life is not tied to any man the bible says promotion neither comes from the east nor the west nor the south promotion comes from god hallelujah i will never get arrogant over what god is doing in my life you know why the bible says the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong said it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of the lord that showeth this when you saturate your life with god's word then you begin to declare favor follows me everywhere i go i'm favored i'm favored hallelujah i'm favored i'm favored blessed in the city blessed in the country in the name of jesus the works of my hands are blessed everything i lay my hands to do is blessed blessed in my business blessed in ministry you know why the bible says whatsoever it says shall be like a tree planted by the streams i will never know dryness in my life because i'm planted by the rivers of living waters he said who's who's um whose leaves does not wither and then he say whatsoever 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 he doeth prospers if i don't do it it's not because i'm afraid of failing i'm 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 i want to obey god but anything i lay my hands to do if it is of god it will prosper can you come to that point laban made a confession he said i know that on account of you god has blessed me your presence in my house is like the ark that was in the house of obededon favor follows me everywhere i go i have the grace of god that's why when i shake your hands and i say you are blessed believe me you are blessed you don't know the scriptures that frame the revelation of what i'm doing that's why you can step into a place and say peace be still and there will be peace hear me brothers and sisters i can go on my knees and beg you you are not victorious in this life until you come to a point where you can put the word of god in your lips and begin to frame your destiny frame your destiny frame your destiny say after me i'm framing my destiny don't sit down and watch things not go in your in your family there are people who are not getting married and all of this and i say well it's just god it's just god yes you did bible study about it have you spoken yes you cried and rolled have you gotten up to speak the bible says david cried until there was no strength in him god didn't say anything and then he got up and spoke and said god should i pursue god said this is what i've been waiting pursue and overtake so many of us tonight need to wipe our tears and say satan i'm not as weak as you think i am i've been equipped i may look weak in myself but let me tell you i am going to take the word of god and put upon my lips and begin to speak and say lord my father is getting a good job that will restore him from the time he has been blackmailed a job that will pay him and restore him and you are speaking and you call your father and say daddy i want you to know that i'm on a project speaking over your life and destiny and my lover say well thank you son or daughter the day they call him you say ah this thing works oh it works 
it works I believe the word of God the word of God works I can stake my life to death at God's word I know his word works there is more to the story of my life there's more to the story of this great ministry because of the power and the operation of God's word our boldness our sufficiency is not in ourselves our sufficiency is in the confidence that we derive from the integrity of God's word no matter what challenge you are in no matter what miracle you need for your life I like you to know that if you stand to be an ambassador and make it a project to begin to decree only God's word go and frame certain scriptures put it on your laptop I like that software that while you are working on your laptop it keeps bringing uh, the word out instead of putting your picture and you see yourself when you went for excursion you just put your leg like, put the word of God change your ringtone to something that will administer the word of God ah Josh has started fanatical okay oh. when you make the word of God a project in your life and you begin to speak and make decrees and say in the name of Jesus my life is blessed once in a while you invite your friends or your roommates and say let's go and pray and after praying in tongues say hold on we are going to speak definite things we begin to speak and when you speak let's finish up this scripture Ezekiel so that we can pray sometimes I wish there's time and time again to just keep expounding on God's word Ezekiel you do wonders you do wonders in our midst faithful God faithful God ha. hallelujah hallelujah hear me I didn't want to share this but I'm, I'm sensing my spirit to share it. God told me something he said son the dimension of influence and increase and expansion that you are stepping into I mean everyone not just me as a person together as a family God told me we are stepping into fearful dimensions of increase and expansion by the spirit we are told the leaders I remember John first saw it in a vision and when God told me I started laughing I was happy and I was laughing because I know what God means by that God is saying son I've shown you the picture in the heavens make it real in this realm and I began to say Lord Kapo Satire I partner with you koinonia it's not just intimacy partnership I agree with you let it be done as it is in the heavens so friends you have not seen increase you have not seen expansion god told me with it will come many persecution because people will talk a time will come people will say these people their ways are not straight the way things are happening let me tell you brothers and sisters we don't have any secret this is it the good old word of god the good old word of god I love the prophetic so much because it announces the thing before it happens. You do want to see me. You do want to see me. You do want to see me. Faithful God. on all sides that's what I see advancement on all sides breaking new grounds I don't see a worse tomorrow no by the spirit greater transformation greater building that's what I see I look forward to a time when the worship team go international they are going the media going international oh yes it's happening by the spirit and it's for the kingdom i don't know what you see but that's what i see that's what i see many of you need to change 
the word of God changes your perception. Increase on all sides. Undeniable expansion by the word of God operating on an economic frequency that cannot be calculated by any law of economics. Only by the spirit. And when we dumbfound the wisdom of men, then we shrink back to say, King of kings, be glorified. Be glorified. Let's finish the scripture. Friends, I'd like you to prepare yourself to be a part of what God is doing. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear ye the word of who? It was Ezekiel speaking, but he called it the word of who? So although you are speaking it, in the realm of the spirit it is registered as the very words of jesus christ carrying the same potency and creative ability that's why i love the prophetic the prophetic is not just to reveal to you the future it can create one the prophet said this woman has been good to us what do we give her can you imagine he didn't say let me go and pray and find out he said this woman has been nice it is within our power to create a future for this family and he said according to the time of life that god will raise generals among us who will make decrees and say because of me lord my family my mother didn't go to school my dad didn't go to school but they will reap the blessings of having a blessed child refuse to see yourself as small nobody knows you now but the word of god will create a ladder for you you will ride prosperously through life that when men say there is a casting down there is an invisible ladder people say where is the ladder that you are climbing in the word of god the word of god was a a pillar for someone to walk on water and he said come he said if it be thou bid me come and he said come and Peter got up full of his unbelief notwithstanding. He walked on that water. I'm telling you the truth. There is no situation you cannot walk over. I believe God's word. I believe God's word. I believe God's word. I believe that a time will come in my life when I will almost not be allowed to do anything because there will be too many people to bless me where somebody will say please don't pay the school fees of your children give me the privilege of having your children come to my school that's what i believe i don't know about you i know that a time will come when the the financial blessings god is giving you you will not see any need to use it because there's really no need you will just keep pumping it for the advancement of the kingdom you are just saying thank you jesus it's a realm of it's a realm where the bible says the reaper will overtake the sower you don't know whether it's a harvest or it's a seed you are so you cannot even tell again you lift up your voice someone comes with a khaki of a house uh, i mean a khaki and a house and says god gave me an instruction and told me to build this and bless you for your service for the kingdom people say what is this then you remember when you were on campus and you were shouting and saliva was pouring from your mouth you say this is the fruit and you will stand as a testament and as an epistle to show that the word of God is potent and that it has power. Rise up on your feet. For light is shining in the darkness. Jesus. Verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Say after me, a noise. Oh, it always starts with a noise. For every time you begin to speak, there is a sound in the spirit. Echoing your confessions. You may not see it, but there is a movement. He said, as I prophesied, there was a noise. There was a sound. And then a shaking. And bones came together. And verse 9, he said unto me, prophesy to the wind prophesy to the wind son of man say unto the wind O 
breath breathe upon this lane that they may live so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up the authority of a king is in his speaking for where the word of a king is there is power i don't know if you are angry tonight to know that you have a responsibility over your destiny go ahead and thank god for the word say lord i thank you oh yes koinonia is also a place of partnership 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 cooperating with the heavens I see my future in the word of God. I see my future in the word of God. And I speak. Go ahead and begin to speak. I speak. I am better than where I am now. I speak. Please make sure you are speaking through faith. We understand that the world will frame, will frame, frame your future inside and outside. Frame your future. The Holy Ghost is hearing what you're saying. The angels are there, moving at the direction of your word. Yes, creative power create a future a blessed one i declare i have a blessed life free of worry free of fear full of prosperity full of grace i'm moving from grace to grace the bible says my path is as a shining light that shines brighter brighter unto the perfect day i declare the lines are fallen to me in pleasant places i have a goodly heritage gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising oh hallelujah i'm favored blessed in the city blessed in the country in the name of jesus I'm moving from grace to grace, from glory to glory. My past is as a light that shineth brighter and brighter. Everything I lay my hands to do prospers. The Lord commands the blessings on my storehouse and upon all that I set my hands to do. My gates are continually open. I receive the forces of the Gentiles. Pray. Pray, increase on every side, promotion on every side, favor on every side, favor on every side, favor on every side, favor on every side. A sick free life, a worry free life, a life of joy and gladness, enjoying the blessings of God, taking the kingdom of God to the unreached places by the power of God blessed in my business blessed in my life experiencing ever increasing glory ever increasing glory ever increasing glory come on pray pray the creative power of the word of God upon your lips. My family members are blessed. They are blessed. They are blessed. No death. No death. I refuse to die. I live long. I choose life. I suck honey from the rock. 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 Every wilderness becomes a plain ground. Every wilderness. Every dry ground is fruitful unto me. Every dry ground is fruitful from grace to grace. From glory to glory. Sakabaria Tababadi Kalabambi. 
Rata baria tambre stabali ke prati se maha. Rente gaba kabala kati beke jevele de bos. Sata paka kabede ke pariana makaya. Matianda kasoto baya. We call on the elders. We call on the angels. We call on the four living creatures. Let the gates be open. Efata. Let the gates. Katia makabros. In kabariye te barata balanabas. Reke paradabos. Express your heart to the Lord. Say Lord. I am here tonight. presence of the mighty one the one who is able to heal able to deliver shaka parada basia go ahead and express your heart to the lord say lord i know you will touch me inside outside in the overflow make sure you're praying Everywhere, lift your hands. The Spirit of God is standing right where you are. Come on, pray. Ne kaparie kabos tavai, rande kabos. Seke prande kabos talia parada bos. Oh yes, over my family. Make sure you're praying. Oh, we give you praise. King of glory, we thank you. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. This I know. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Hey, hey. Whenever I call, come on, let faith rise in this building. No, whenever I call you, inside and in the overflow, lift your hands and let's. 
so glorious in your ways. You are excellent, so excellent in your ways. Take off the barriers of impossibility tonight. You are glorious, you are glorious. Let faith rise. Let faith rise. Inside and outside. He's standing. Alive. And able. Sata Maria Ketea. I just need faith to rise. Oh, faith rise. Let faith arise. Tonight will be an awesome night of miracles. God is more prepared than you are. Oh, I'm excited. There is real faith in this place. In the glory and the power It's in the glory and the power. We see miracles, signs and wonders. Come on, 
shout it are you ready now yeah. at the count of three it's a shout of jubilee are you ready yeah. please or just help me bring them out one two three go ahead and shout I see the angels of the Lord lined up. One, two, three. Go ahead and shout. Go, 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 every demon. 
Satan, everyone under any influence outside, the Lord is setting you free. Go, go right now. I command your freedom right now. Right now, the fire of the spirit is setting you free everywhere in the overflow. Who is this king of glory? Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts is his name. Hallelujah. I see a young man in the overflow. The power of God is going to come upon you now. Please, ushers, look for him and bring him. Right now. Let it be done. Now. In the name of Jesus, a gentleman. Please bring him. Kirma. No kaka. are 227 227 an MTN number who is that there's someone here you have an MTN number the last three digits 227 227 inside outside 227 an MTN number Or if you know any of your loved ones that has it I'm still seeing it the vision is persisting God wants to bring a miracle an MTN number ending with 227 please if it belongs to any of your loved ones or your friend you can stand it for them it's very important I'm waiting for the young man outside. You're the one with two to seven. Your mother, your brother, with two to seven. Hear what the Lord says, I should tell him. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. The Lord is saying, I should tell him that he's stepping into a new face and that he will glorify him. I saw like a claw upon a shoulder that I believe to be his own. While we we're praying this song, I saw that the hand was lifted. I believe that it's a prophetic symbolism of a release and a lifting. And Lord, we declare it. Let it be so. You receive it for him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for you. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you reach out to them. Reach out to your family members by the 
power of the Holy Spirit. I take authority over anything that does not represent Jesus Christ. I declare upon you that there is emancipation for your loved ones. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Anyone with a hole in the heart, a hole in the heart or any, any cardiovascular challenge, now it's time for the Lord to heal you. Whatever the complication is, hole in the heart, blood circulation problem, cardiovascular problem, I'm going to pray for you now. Hallelujah. Be free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit, every open heart be closed now. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone with any cardiovascular challenge, any cardiovascular challenge, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we set you free now. Any cardiovascular challenge, breathing problems, don't stop playing please. Breathing problems. Anyone with any breathing problem, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. name of the Lord Jesus Christ be made whole by the Spirit of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I like it to look at me look at me start lifting your legs go ahead and lift your legs go lift your legs go ahead lift it start stamping it go ahead stamp just stamp stamp keep stamping do what you do Hallelujah. I'd like you to walk around up and down. What, what is wrong? What's wrong? Jesus Christ. in one ear or both ears put one hand there if you're deaf either in both ears or one ear put your hand there if you're deaf in either both ears or one ear put your hands there thou devil of deafness I command you let God's people go now now deafness be gone that ear be open now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ inside outside I command that ears to be open in the name of Jesus every kind of deafness you are open begin to check yourself begin to check yourself chapter 
Acts chapter 3 verse 16 can we read together one to read Let's read it one more time with faith in your heart. Go ahead and read. There's someone with the name Ezekiel in this place. Ezekiel. You are outside or something. I think it's in the overflow. Ezekiel. Look at me. Where is your mother? Is she well? What's wrong with her? Can, can I have someone with a mic, please? Let's have people with mic. Well, she's at home. What's wrong with her? I just called her some few weeks back. She told me that she's sick. And did you tell you what is wrong with her? Yes, yes. They said it's uh, typhoid and malaria. It's not typhoid. It's the hand of the enemy to take her life. Tonight the Lord sets you free and he sets your mother free. Are you listening to me? The Holy Ghost told me it's the devil's agenda to take away the life of your mom. It's not typhoid. Doctors just called it typhoid. We take authority and we command liberation for you. You are free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 3 He said And his name through faith in his name Hath made this man strong Whom ye see and know Yea the faith which is by him Hath given him his perfect soundness In the presence of you all Hallelujah One day when Jesus Had gone to heaven before he left, he told the disciples, he said, These signs shall follow them that believe. He said, In my name, you shall cast out devils. In my name, you shall speak with new tongues. In my name, when you drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt you. And now was the opportunity for them to manifest what Jesus had told them. And the Bible says, Peter and John were on their way to the beautiful gate. And they saw a man who had been lame from birth. And begging for arms, he looked at them. And they said, John speaking, or Peter speaking, said, Silver and gold have I not. He said, But such as I have, I give. And this is all I have the authority that is in the name of Jesus. He said, By that authority, rise up and walk. And the man stood and was watching, and the Bible says, Peter carried him and he leaping stood and as a result of that healing there was a controversy and so they were responding to this and the people were amazed they said by which authority by which power they understood the concept of authority they said by which who are you representing and then Peter gives them the answer he said and his name oh that great name Philippians chapter 2 tells us that wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name an identity an authority a dominion a status he said at the mention of that name every knee shall bow of things in the heavens of things in the earth and of things under the earth he said and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord that's the name that was given to him his lordship that every time we invoke his lordship there is a response in the spirit that causes every knee to bow of the things in heaven of the things in the earth why heaven because it must first happen in the heavens before it happens in the earth and he said of the things under the earth and every tongue shall confess hallelujah 
this is the secret of miracles to exalt him to give him praise to lift his name above then when we worship him he comes in his glory and when his glory shows up then demons are casted out then miracles begin to happen no miracle can happen when Jesus is not exalted so Jesus I enthrone you I proclaim you are king standing here in the midst of oh thank you for your presence we raise you we raise you And as we worship you, your throne, build your throne, Lord. and as we worship you, your throne, and as we worship, and as we worship you, Lord Jesus. every kind of cancers and tumors and growths every kind of cancer every kind of tumor lump in your breast whatever every kind of tumor every growth in your body I like you to get ready because God is about to heal you right now hallelujah listen before I pray for all of these people there are many people who represent different infirmities here and whether or not the Lord mentions your case let your heart be set receive and begin to do what you couldn't do before don't receive and sit down don't receive and lie down when if you have a growth as they pray thank the Lord and begin to check and celebrate the miracle the miracle happens as you respond in faith all right let me pray now in the name of the Lord Jesus I command cancer die go out of the bodies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every growth every growth I don't care what part of your body I command it to disappear now 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 not later now right now right now right now every growth cancers die now every malignant growth die in the name of Jesus every kind of swelling go now in the name of Jesus tumors lumps disappear be gone by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost I command healing now Hallelujah. I see a lady here you've been. He 
it's like they literally flog you when you sleep you get up with the pains physically on your body the Lord is showing me the vision of someone please bring the lady out no you are not the one When you sleep in the night, they flog you literally. Come. Please, I'd like you to talk, talk to the audience. What happens to you? What happens to you? At times, it's in a dream. And I'm being flogged in the dream. When I wake up, I... You I get flogged in the dream. Yes, sir. I wake up with pains and weakness. Tonight, the Lord is setting you free. Amen. Holy Father, we worship There's a lady here. You pass out every time. I mean, like death. You can just be walking and pass out. Who is that person? I mean, you can just pass out just like that. I hope you're hearing me inside, outside, in the overflow. There's, there's someone like that. God wants to set you free. Please, let's save time. Then while the lady is coming who is monica monica i hear a lady's name monica some of these words could be your for you could be for your friend your loved one once it's a word that you identify with you can stand in for the person Monica Your mom's name is Monica What's she coming out for? You're the lady that passes out often. Come, please. How long has this been? For so long. It has been long. Very long. How long? Can you remember? When I... SS1. Since, since my SS1. Since SS1. It happens often. You believe it will go now? You believe? Yes, sir. And forever. Hold my hands. Now, wicked spirit, let this girl go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. See, hold on. I command you, that wicked spirit, come out of her now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I set you free forever, 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 and ever you reign, forever and ever. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Just hold on, let me pray for her. Forever, no matter how long you are.
you believe? I want you to lift your hands and shout Jesus three times. Just do exactly that. Jesus! 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 The Lord instructed us that as you shout this Jesus, you are free. I proclaim you free forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your mom is Monica. Yes, Monica. Your mom is Monica. Yes, the Lord says I should tell you that he's opening a door for Monica. So whoever was a lady, your mom has tried and tried. Look at me. The Lord says it's not by power, it's not by might. Do you understand? Your mom has been disappointed from many people making vain promises. But the Lord says for me to tell you that he's opening a door for Monica. You have it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Before, all right. Before I pray for everyone in mass and we begin to celebrate the things that God is doing, uh, our loud jam prayer. I believe that the Holy Spirit is communicating a word or two, and then we'll allow one or two people. Hallelujah. So, well, just go ahead and give the word. Hallelujah. While you were talking about roads. And cancer living people the Lord showed me he said there's a particular lady with growth growth in your breast growth I like you to lift up your hands wherever you are growth in your breast growth in your breast I understand maybe for social reasons some people may not want to identify with it but I like you to know that miracles are happening here and just come right now and God is going to heal you. Look, there's nothing to be ashamed like of. Don't, come out. don't. Just come. These are real miracles. This is a family. If you stand I in see. that category, God is healing you right now. Don't sit and wonder who cares. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we all came for miracles. Are you following me now? Just put your hand there. Put your hand there. You're going to check it. As the Lord heal you, you will see. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command this growth right now to disappear in the name of Jesus I command this growth to leave you now, 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 now. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the growth is gone. Check it. Check it. Put your hand there. Check it. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The growth just left. You are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. That devil will never come back again in Jesus' name. <sighs> Lord, in the name of Jesus, put your hand there right now. Lord, I command this growth. Go in the name of Jesus. You spirit of infirmity, lose her right now. I declare that you are healed. I command this growth. Disappear right now. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered. Check it. Check it. That growth is gone right now. Check it, check Hallelujah. it, check it, check it. Tell us what happened. Okay, I had several growths there. There were so many, but I can't feel any right now. You can't feel any right now. What a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. That growth is gone forever. Hallelujah. Put your hands there. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I command this growth. Go right now. Go, go, go forever. In the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. That growth is gone now. In the name of Jesus. Don't worry, you are going to check it and tell us. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we command this growth. Go. We declare you free in the name of Jesus. We declare that this growth is gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare that this growth in our breast is healed. In the name of Jesus. Leave her right now. Leave her right now. In the name of Jesus. Check it and tell us. Hallelujah. I touched it just now and it's not. Hold a on, please. There are two more ladies. God is healing. There is an anointing. There is an angel standing here. There are two more ladies who are in the crowd. Come out. God is healing you right now. Don't stand back. There are two more ladies who are supposed to be here. Hallelujah. There are two more ladies who are supposed to be here. Don't stand back. God is healing you. It will shock you. It's like a surprise. Hallelujah. I just touched now and it's not as hard as it was. It's like it's melting. I don't know. It's not as hard as it was. 
before you leave this place every trace of it will be gone in the name of jesus christ amen okay mine used to be at a particular spot but it's gone right now i can't feel anything she can't feel anything that growth is gone in the name of the lord jesus christ i just check it right now. I, I can see that it is melting it is melting in the name of jesus perfection come to you right now before you leave this place you are made whole in the name of Jesus Lord I declare perfection to her I command every growth around her breast to leave right now in the name of Jesus I declare you are free you are free you are free you are free in the name of Jesus you thou devil loser right now loser 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 in the name of Jesus Christ pray for her I saw you perfectly healed in the spirit, my dear. You shouldn't go physically healed yet. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. It will go Lord, now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Completely. I command every trace. Go. Go. Perfection. 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 In the name of Jesus, every trace of it is gone. Right now. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. You thou devil loser right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I saw someone you had. You have an injury that you've had for a while. You fell on the staircase. You fell on the staircase and you sustained an injury that you've had for a long time. I'd like you to lift up your hands around your bone region. Lift up your hands right now. The power of God is coming to you. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands right now. If you are outside, let the ushers locate that person around your bone around your bone your leg region the lord is stretching for this hand right now lord in the name of jesus we command healing we command perfection to that one right now we declare wholeness in the name of jesus is virginia here i'm hearing virginia the virginia i know virginia virginia the lord is giving me a vision of virginia is virginia here Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Virginia, I see the Lord says he's bringing speed. That's, yeah, well, that's what I hear the Lord says. The Lord says, even in your career, in your profession, I see that you are going to practice your profession in the business way. God said the pharmacy, ph pharmacy that you have studied, God said you are not really going to practice in the hospital so to say but i see that god is going to open door for you and you're going to prosper i see a van i see you with your van and i see goods i see products god said the anointing to prosper in that comes upon you in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus lord right now we release it to her right now that van i see you visiting prison 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 I see the Lord taking you to prison. I see you going to minister to them. I see you taking drugs to prisoners. I see you bringing the word of the Lord and the love of Jesus to prisoners. Thank you, Father. I see someone. Your father is actually in a debt. And as a result of that, there's a threatening, a very huge debt. Hundreds, in hundreds of thousands, perhaps in millions, but a very huge sum. And as a result of that death, there's a threatening to collect your house, your father's property. Your house, your father's property. I'd like you to lift up your hands. You are that one. Lift up your hands. There's a threat to collect your father's property as a result of that debt. Wherever you are, lift up your hands. Let me see you. Come, come, come. God says a breakthrough is coming. God says your father is at the verge of a breakthrough where you come i see that supernaturally that debt is going to be taken away supernaturally don't ask me how the lord is, is going to do it but supernaturally the lord is taking away that debt in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy to you that none of your father's property shall be taken i prophesy to you that your house shall be kept in the name of jesus and i declare that that debt is taken away supernaturally by the hand of the lord in the name of jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus 
and me i see the lord showing me i see a door opening an international business comes for your mom i see a door opening god is bringing an international business i see the doors open in the name of jesus i declare that door wide open in the name of the lord jesus christ so the lord says before you leave this place he said you will check and you find out every trace of that blood disease is gone god says he's taking away blood disease from you god says he has started a healing in your body that by the time you leave this place you will see the power of god at work in you god says everything that you have lost that the enemy has stolen from you as a result of this infirmity god says restoration is at your doorstep in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord brings healing even to that sugar condition in the name of jesus for that sugar infirmity shall not have a trace in your body anymore the lord says as you leave this place you see the power of christ working in you and you see perfection at work in your body in the name of the lord jesus christ amen Somebody came in with a chronic uh, back pain. I feel one around the spinal cord. Two people, very chronic pain. I see the Lord healing you. I see the Lord healing. Then also, I see the Lord delivering two people from uh, masturbation. Masturbation. The Lord is delivering one person from it, and the other person, the Lord is healing him from the injury he got as a result of masturbation. I see the Lord delivering you. And for the reason of someone or two privacy, you try to meet the ministers after the service. The Lord bless you. Jakes, please. Now, I sense that as Jakes collects the mic, there will be a manifestation of the Spirit. I want you to be sensitive. Are you listening to me? There will be a manifestation of the Spirit. Those of you that had cancer cases, believe it, every cancer case, God said he can heal. Just believe him. There's somebody here with a chest pain, right at the middle of your chest. Right at the middle of your chest. And he talked about the person, you come. There's someone with the back pain, he talked about, believe it, God is healing these people. Then there's someone with your right ear talked about those God wanted to heal in the right ear it's not as if you're dead it's as if it's water maybe you're swimming or something but water got into your right ear your right ear 
believe God is reaching out to you. There's somebody with a neck pain. Your neck. Your neck has been paining you. Just here. Come at me. Hold my hand and the Lord will show you a vision. Hold my hand and the Lord will show you a vision. The Lord will show you a vision. Hold my hand and the Lord will show you a vision. Please put the mic on his mouth. He will show you a vision. There's a young man here, you're wearing a blue shirt and you're the first son. And I see a gang of demons. They have tied your destiny. You're actually in their midst. That's the young man there we're wearing a blue shirt. Can you see that? I prophecy? see you. I see you. You were playing as a child. It's like you went to the village and you were playing and and like someone took you behind and they did something to you you were laughing but that thing is speaking and you have been held captive for a long time I see God moving towards you and he's laughing and he's just dancing around you and he's laughing and he says now is the prince of this world judged and I see God stretching forth his hand toward you I see God stretching forth his, his hand towards you you feel a constriction around your neck every now and then. Physically, you feel it. That pain will never come. That failure will never come. God says that you should dive into him. That there are riches he wants to show you. I hear God say he's liberating you as the firstborn son. I hear God say that. Hallelujah. Now, there are not many times I've done this, but they will, we're going to pray and two things will happen. We'll begin to release. There will be both healing and impartations. Are you following me now? And as much as possible, I'm going to pray for the ministers and they'll walk through the crowd, both here and outside. Not everybody, they will not lay hands on everybody, but there are some of you, they will move by the Spirit. And those of you, there's a lady, um, when that happened, when the time comes, you got a text from your family and they are standing in for them, we are all going to pray. Hallelujah. So let's pray for this. All of you for time's sake. Who is the lady with the ear problem? You have one come. Which of the ears? You are not hearing well with it. Feels like it's working. All right, put your hands, it will go now. Ephata, now be open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Chest pain and back pain. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands here. Be gone. Be healed. Stand up and check yourself. Make sure you're checking yourselves. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Chest pain. Lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus, chest pain be gone. Go in the name of Jesus. Yeah, problem. Your, my mother has the okay, lay your hands on this, yes be open now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ What's wrong with you? my neck my neck your neck and back in the name of Jesus absolute healing perfection for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah chest and neck in the name of Jesus Christ be made perfectly whole now by the power of the Holy Spirit yeah. Your mom, put your hands on your hands, please. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command perfection for her. In the name of Jesus, your ear, place one hand there. Place one hand there right now. In Jesus' name, I command healing and perfection. Healing and perfection. Check yourself. Oh, he called you out. He gave you a prophecy. You can meet him and then find him. Back in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
hepatitis. Okay, we've not prayed that there's, there's okay, but since you came out, let's just pray for you. But we're going to pray for hepatitis in the name of Jesus. Be made perfectly whole now. I see that you have been influenced by demonic spirits. Satan, leave him, let him go now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now the Lord is going to bring impartations and grace impartations and grace and then I will release healings are you following me we have to hurry up because time is against us we have to hurry up and then time is against us now the ministers are going to walk through but I want to pray for the ministers please ministers come let me pray for you we trust that God will take us to a new level Please trust that this anointing that is coming upon you will mantle you. Will mantle you. Shabareke Pariambalana. Hallelujah. Please, as I lay hands on you, you can some of you can go out, some of you can stay. We'll be praying for the sick. I like you to believe it. I feel the fire of God upon my hand. I feel the fire of God upon my hand. God will take you to a new level. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let there be grace. Great supply. Step into a new dimension of the prophetic. I release it upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, step into a new dimension. Manasseh, just hold me. Let the fire of the Spirit take you to a new level. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, step into a new dimension. Step into a new dimension. I release upon you grace, 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 grace to a new dimension. Grace in the name of the Lord Jesus. Visionary encounters are here. Visionary encounters in the spirit. Visionary encounters opening you up to realms of power that's what the spirit of god says realms of power now lift your hands everybody clash the cymbal i'm going to release the fire of the spirit now everywhere you are get ready receive it now receive it now take it take it receive it inside outside receive it why are you
those of you outside, fresh fire, wonder, fresh fire, do it wonder, fresh fire, in the name of Jesus, do it wonder, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, Go, 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 be healed. 
of the Lord Jesus. I receive my portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. Blindness, go. Deafness, go. And the power Demonic oppression I Go. see miracles Signs and wonders Demonic oppression Go In the glory Hallelujah Hallelujah. Because of our time, there's so much we can do. Come together. For watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.